it's a beautiful thing when you find that Allah painted the perfect picture of a situation you are experiencing right now. First of all, it would console us that our experience is specific and purposeful. Secondly, in addition to listening to our health authorities, we get a better picture of what's really asked of us from Allah. So we are spiritual beings, in essence, and spiritual advice sometimes goes a long way with physical precautions. We can be healthy and taking the right steps, and yet our anxieties can make us feel like we are already drowning. So we always need our heart to be in the right place. And this is where Allah's words come in. Where did Allah ever speak about this quarantine-like experience that we are going through? There were three companions that didn't catch up with the rest of the Muslims to an expedition due to procrastination. However, as they confessed their mistake to the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, Allah revealed that they must be isolated from society as a penalty until he wills otherwise. However, as they confessed their mistake to the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, Allah revealed that they must be isolated from society as a penalty until he wills otherwise. They actually were under this penalty for almost like 40 to 50 days. And here's where Allah describes their experience of isolation after it was over. And you're gonna notice here how this actually elevates our quarantine experience more than just a stay-at-home vacation. So in Surah Tawbah in verse 118, Allah says, And that means that and he also forgave those three that were left behind and regretted their error to their point that the earth closed in on them in spite of its vastness and their souls confined them and they were certain that there is no refuge from Allah except in him. Then he turned to them so they could repent. Indeed, Allah is the accepting of repentance, the merciful. Allah describes their experience just as many of us feel now, both figuratively and literally. We are cornered and the earth has limited its vast space to us. Many of us are locked down in our houses and countries. We're also feeling cornered with the state of our jobs, anxieties for ourselves and loved ones. Allah has placed you in a corner along with the rest of humanity. We all collectively share this dread. Allah reveals the purpose behind such an experience now. And it's beautifully described as an invitation to a spiritual awakening. Allah describes their recognition of realizing that there lies no refuge from Allah except to Him. This might seem simple, but not easy to internalize and understand. But Allah bridges the gap through the means of quarantine to make us see it. Think about it. Following this invitation, Allah gives us the opportunity to finally um, contemplate and think about our own setbacks and the times before and find our hearts finally prepared for a great spiritual cleanse. The cleanse of returning back to Him through repentance. This was really the whole purpose behind those three companions' story and their test. Once their repentance was accepted, this verse was revealed and they were actually released from their homes and they were able to you know, deal with society again. So can we relate? Of course we can. There are many burdens of sin holding us down and this is the time to lift them off. It's an honor to be placed in this position where you can walk in these companions' shoes. The mosques for us closed and people claim that Allah no longer invited us to his house, but I disagree. When we look at the beauty of how this verse is described, we can see that the invitation to repentance has in fact become more distinguished than ever before. We are experiencing these divine signals coming to every household instead. So may Allah guide our hearts and may Allah alleviate the burdens of our hearts and may Allah open our doors again and the doors of His houses again. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.